we've got to come together. We, we, we've got to unite in a creative way. It doesn't matter what business that you're a part of. We're all creative people. We were all born to be creative in whatever level that you're at. We've got to come together as a generation and as a united global people. Because we've got to move beyond this pandemic. We, we've got to get people back to work and to understand that being at work is where progress grows. And we can't just sit around waiting for things to happen. Fate is not a place. Fate is a decision to sit down. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I can't be the only one who does this. Before any word is shared, my eyes are shifting from the left to the right, up and down. They're moving in every direction. As if to say, is anybody listening? Even with this microphone, you ask that question, but you have to have the confidence and the security of knowing that even if one person tunes in, you've done it right. You, you did what you were called to do. We are in changing times. I'm shocked that we are not on the brink of war because we feel like there's this enormous amount of energy that is telling us to take one side or the other. Walking down the middle or being that white picket fence right down the middle doesn't seem to be that place anymore. We're here or we're here. And we have to make up that decision of what side are we going to take? The view of the platform is a process of decisions. The way that we get anywhere is through a method of choice. Making that move is mostly accepted or easily forgotten. Now, now, between the two of us here, I've always been disturbed by the term, it is because it is, or it's all good. The acceptance of all, no matter what all is, doesn't allow anybody's heart to agree with the personal acceptance of what might be good for you because it may not be good for me. It may not be good for anybody else. There's a process in everything that we do and it's always interrupted by another person's suggestion. Hey man, have you ever tried this? Since the COVID lockdown, I keep bumping into people that want none of this. No. I'm going to do it my way instead. At no other time in history have there been so many job openings. People don't want to return to the business world controlled by trolls and other verbal monsters that are more interested in saving their positions than leading with loyalty. The workplace has got to change. It's not the employee. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I've been doing this since July of 1994, and it's sometimes fun to go back and see where we were in that position of now, because that now, let's say back in 1997 compared to this now, it's two completely different things. My master in martial arts, my sabanim used to say, do you have control of this decision you're wanting to make? No, I do not. Then don't do it. If you have control over something then you can make the choice to do it. And that choice is what's happening right now. We have control of here. What is your choice? This is the Daily Mess. Um, I, I didn't think a year ago that I would be sitting here on this particular day, which is August 10th, 2021, and stare at the headlines about the massive amounts of people that are going through COVID-19 even today. And this Delta virus is just, uh, I I, I don't, I, I have no words. All I can say is I'm praying. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your family. I'm praying for the children because for the first time ever, the children are being affected. And then you've got state and local governments that are supposed to be our voices, our decision makers that are saying, don't do this. And if you do, then I'll make sure that we, we remove the payment that is going to you because I said, do not put a mask on and you're defying my word. I, I, I am lost. And, but is it my right to even say that Gene Simmons said something yesterday that was pretty eye opening. He says he has no feelings for anyone who remains unvaccinated. This Ron DeSantis guy in Florida, 
threatening the paychecks of educational leaders for wanting kids to wear masks. He says, leave it up to the parents to make the decision. If the parents want the kids to wear the mask, then they'll wear the mask. If they don't, then they won't. Both sides presented. And you have to decide for yourself what direction is your choice. We're here again, guys. We're here again. Except this time around, there's not going to be a lockdown. They're they're not going to place us behind the walls. And we're not going to sit inside our homes and, and quiet businesses wondering what is the next thing. It's not going to happen because people won't let it happen. But we are in control in an out-of-control pandemic. We, we can get this thing lowered in numbers, but it's going to take each and every one of us. There's so much propaganda that continues to grow, and what are we really trying to prove to each other? Except the fact that we're followers, not leaders, we're followers. Come on, call yourself what you are. You are a follower. I'm a follower. And because we are followers, then we are tools to those who are making up our own minds. Other people are making up our minds for us. The decision is to do because they said to do. Paying the price. Does it actually mean that we have to give up our life? How are we going to get through this? There's a lot of things that we've gone through. To get to this point, we could talk about the space shuttles exploding in the sky. We could talk about 9-11. We could talk about the Great Recession of 2008. We could talk about the wars in the Middle East. We could talk about the massive earthquakes and the fires, the planet burning up right now because of the climate. How are we going to get through this, this pandemic? How are we going to get through this? Is it going to take government decision makers to do it? See, that's what I mean when I say other people are making up our own minds. They, they are deciding for us because I guess we decided for them by putting them in office. We've got to be able to decide for ourselves how we're going to get through this. And we can't just place it aside. We can't just say, well, if, if, if I don't think about it, then it doesn't exist. See, the problem is, is that it does exist. And every day, those numbers are going up. They're, and, and, and it really deeply bothers me to hear these talk show hosts say that this is all propaganda. They, they, they try to take a certain side that says, well, no, the numbers might be going up, but what are the hospi- hospitalizations? And it's like, dude, the numbers are still going up. Why are you lying to people? Are you writing stuff down? Are you, are you writing dear future reader letters? Are you, are you doing things that's going to plant a seed on the path when you're no longer on the path? Are you putting a presence in a place which is far up here in the future that allows them to understand what is going on in 2020 and 21? What is going on? What is your choice today? The power of that choice belongs to you, but if you keep giving it to somebody else to make, then you remain the follower. Is that where you want to be? Is that who you want to be? I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.